This geometry problem is so oddly satisfying, like an ASMR video. We have been given a trapezium, and both of these sides are equal, and these are 90 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees, and this side is of length 5. What is the area of this trapezium? Can you solve it? Whenever we see a trapezium or this kind of shape, many of us feel intimidated and hesitate to even try solving the problem. But in this video, you'll be amazed at how simple it can be to approach these questions when you break them down into smaller sub-problems. First, let us draw this line which will be perpendicular to this side. So this will be 90 degrees. Now, since all of these angles are 90 degrees and both of these lengths are the same, we can say that it will be a square. Now let us label this as x. So all of them will be x as well. Great so far. Now look at this side. If this is 5 and this is x, so this will be 5 minus x. Now look at this right angle triangle. This side is x, this side is 5 minus x, and this is 30 degrees. So we can use trigonometry to find the value of x. We have tan of theta as opposite upon adjacent. So tan of 30 will be x upon 5 minus x. Using the trigonometry table, we can find the value of tan 30, which turns out to be 1 by root 3. Now cross multiply. So 5 minus x will be equal to root 3 times x. Let us box this and keep it aside for a moment, as you will soon see why. Take x on this side. We get x plus root 3x equals 5. Take x as common to get this as x times root 3 plus 1. So x equals 5 over root 3 plus 1. Nice. But our job is to find the area of this trapezium. It will be equal to the area of this square plus the area of this triangle. Now the area of this square is x square, and the area of this triangle is x times 5 minus x by 2. So the area will be x square plus 5, x minus x square by 2. This will be the same as 5x plus x square by 2. Now we can simply substitute the value of x and get the answer. By substituting x, we get this. Don't you think it will be too lengthy to solve it this way? I have a shortcut, so if you remember this part, we have boxed it. If you square both sides of this equation, we get root 3x whole square equals 5 minus x whole square. So we get 3x square equals 25 plus x square minus 2 times 5 times x or minus 10x. This gives us 2x squared plus 10x equals 25. And if we divide it by 4 on both sides, take 2 common here and cancel it to get 2 here, we get 5x plus x squared by 2 equals 25 by 4. Oh look, this is the same as the area of this trapezium. So the area will be 25 by 4. Don't forget to put the square units. And that's it. See how easy it gets when you break down tricky shapes like trapeziums into simple steps? So good.